Imagine lazy kids watching cartoons and eating chips. So they don't move at all? They only move their hands to reach out to the chips? Yes, you are right. So it is all about how much the water molecules move. If they vibrate a little, they are in a solid state. While if they move freely and quickly in all directions, then they are in gaseous state. Yes, and if they can move around each other, they are in a liquid state. I know there's quite a lot to remember, so here's a diagram to help. Thank you. This is most helpful. A quick question. Does higher temperature result in more energy in the molecules? Yes. A higher temperature results in the molecules having more energy. More energy means more vibration or movement. And these eventually change the arrangement of the molecules, which changes the state of the matter. Okay. I get it now. You mean how the molecules are arranged and how they move determine whether something is in a solid, liquid or gaseous state? Yes. So, if I had some superpower to change the arrangement of the molecules, I could change the state of any matter? Yes, but you don't need superpower. You simply need the ability to heat things up or cool things down. Amazing! Yes, so in a nutshell, for a solid, there is little free space among the molecules and they are arranged in an orderly manner. For a liquid, there are more free space between the molecules and they are arranged in a disorderly manner. For a gas, there is a lot of free space among the molecules and they are arranged in a disorderly manner as well. Yes, just as described in the diagram.